Hey guys, what's up? It's Dragoon here, and it is that time of year again. Yu-Gi-Oh! Ban list season. So, let's go ahead and take a look at what has changed starting August 29th, 2016. First up on the list, Banned Performapal Monkey Board. I am perfectly okay with this. I've seen quite a few people making a lot of uh, Harambe memes out of it, and uh, what can I say? Monkey Board was just a card. Let's see what else is coming up here. Kaiser Coliseum. I'm also quite okay with that. Uh, it's a card I never really played. I could see how it was useful in certain decks. I've certainly gone up against it in decks like Bujin. And yeah, it's just kind of annoying. It's like one of those cards that lets your opponent not play the game. And yeah, so I'm kind of glad that's down to one. I just, I never really saw myself using it, so. Uh, we also have Seer, Malbranch of the Burning Abyss, put down to one as well. I'm perfectly okay with that. Aether, the Heavenly Monarch, once again, fine by me. Cosmo Dark Destroyer, let's keep this trend going. And Magus Spectre Unicorn Keating, all of those are awesome by me. I've seen a lot of people saying that uh, Cosmo doesn't get hit quite hard enough, and I... I guess I'd have to agree. I don't know. I haven't really played in a while, but uh, we'll talk about that after we're finished. So, continuing right along into the spell cards. Ah, also uh, Beatrice, Lady of the Eternal. I didn't even notice this when I looked through um, the first time. She is now at one, and I'm okay with that too. <laughs> Emergency teleport down to one. I'm sorry to anybody who plays anything psychic related besides Cosmo. Like, I don't even think I could play Gusto anymore. Like, not only was the deck just not good at the time because of the way the game had changed, it just was way too slow, way too... There were too many restrictions on getting your effects off, but Emergency Teleport into Pitika was such an important play that it, you, you just kind of can't play the deck anymore. If someone finds a way to do it, I would be um, impressed. I've tried, and I just... I don't know. I have one last idea, and I, I just... Don't have the time to be testing it out right now. Uh, continuing on with the spells, we have Pantheism of the Monarchs and Pendulum Call. Both of those I am fine with. Pendulum Call, I would have been okay with that card getting entirely banned, but what can you do? As well as Monarch Stormforth, as you can see down here. Once again, fine by me. We had in the past Soul Exchange which was letting you tribute an opponent's monster as if it were your own, and you have to skip your battle phase. Seems fair enough. Konami decides, no, no, we need to release Stormforth, which allows you to do all of that for free, and it's quick play. So, nice move, Konami. Nice move. I mean, don't get me wrong, I've played this card before. I know firsthand how good it is, and I'm glad I don't have to worry about my dang Dark Laws getting hit by this all the time. They probably still will, and I'll lose because of it, because turn one drawing into one of, my opponent's always better than me. Uh, continuing on here to the semi-limited section, we have Max C. Once again, that's something I am personally perfectly fine with, because I've only ever really played two at the most, so it doesn't bother me at all. Thunder King Ryo, thank goodness Konami, you've done something right in this regard, because Thunder King didn't need to be a 1 to begin with. I think 2, if he's going to be limited, it needs to be 2. Um, I just He's just so like inconsistent to some degree at 1, and I just I really like 2. I've been playing Thunder King in so many different anti-meta style decks, and 1 just didn't cut it. it was always, I always played him at 2 or 3. More often than not, though, it was 2, and so he's back up where he belongs, in my opinion. Wind-up Magician, I don't really have a whole lot to say about that. The wind-up loop sucked completely back in the day, and I don't even know how viable it is anymore. Um, it involved... What 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 Xyz was that? I don't even remember his name. Oh, it was N Mighty. He's still, he's still banned, so whatever. Let, let, let wind-up players have their fun, I guess. And then the stuff that's no longer on the list, we have Thousand Eyes Restrict. Did anyone really see that one coming? Allure of Darkness, which totally makes me want to continue working on building my Destiny Hero deck. Uh, three Allure, that sounds pretty dang cool to me. And also three Gold Sarcophagus, that one's kind of interesting. Goes straight from uh, one to three. 
Although that card really didn't see a whole lot of competitive play at all in ages, as far as I know. I can't recall... I can't recall as seeing, like, very vast competitive use since, um, Dragon Ruler format, so... Hey man, I guess just bring that bring that crap back. Bring it all back to three. No 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 big deal. Uh, I I don't really care. We'll see if that ends up being anything at all. I doubt it. So who knows? It is definitely decent for boosting consistency. So um, we'll see. Uh, so back to what I was saying. Um, I've actually not played Yu-Gi-Oh in a little over a month now. Maybe a little bit more than that. I haven't played intensively. And even longer than that, mostly because life has just been incredibly busy, you guys. Like, absolutely crazy busy, and it's only gotten uh, worse to some degree. So, really have not had time at all. And on top of that, I really was waiting for this Forbidden and Limited list to be updated because, man, I hated the format. I hated it so much. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! just wasn't fun to play. Every time I would go up against somebody, or at least probably 80% of the time, it was just something I didn't feel like bothering with. Like, Yu-Gi-Oh! had become first turn, create a super strong board to where your opponent can't get over it, and that's, that's the entirety of the game. If that gets made, then you win. If your opponent can do that on their first turn, then they win. And if neither of you can, then you sort of actually have a duel. And that's just, that's sort of what I was seeing um, back in the previous format or the current format. And I don't know. And it doesn't help. Like, I, I still can go along with that um, belief that Cosmo didn't lose enough. A Dark Destroyer is certainly a good card, and Emergency Teleport is certainly uh, great in the deck. But man, uh, that field spell is primarily one of the biggest issues. And the fact that you can't even destroy it without them uh, replacing it is absolutely ridiculous. Like, that deck's gone on long enough, man. It's just, it it gets the tiniest chunk bitten off of it every now and again. And that's it. And it's just, it's not enough. I mean, I don't necessarily want the deck to be unplayable, but I also don't want it to be uh, dominating. But is it dominating anymore? I don't even know. I legitimately don't know. I saw the... Um, the turnout for recent, was it Worlds? I can't really remember which tournament it was. And Blue Eyes was on there. A few decks, the top eight, I think at least four of them or three were Blue Eyes. So apparently Blue Eyes is absolutely insane now. And I, I guess I'm not surprised. But all in all, what do you guys think about the new Forbidden and Limited list? Please let me know in the comments below because I want to know if you guys think who have been playing... Uh, quite a bit recently. Let me know if this uh, will change the game up for the better for people like me and maybe people like you too. Uh, with that three allure that definitely makes me want to get back to working on my Destiny Hero deck and I certainly have plans in doing so in the near future. And um, on that same note, since I, you guys know I also play Yosenju, I was kind of surprised Card of Demise was not on here at all because I was kind of hoping it would be um, so that I could get it for a little cheaper, but haven't picked it up yet because too much, too much money that I, I cannot afford to play physical Yu-Gi-Oh! right now. But once again, uh, drop a like on this video if you guys have enjoyed it. I would appreciate it very much, and I will catch you guys next time.